Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another gameplay video. Today we're playing this fucking Social States of Austria Hungary and are um, trying to defeat the Allies. Um, today's episode is quite a special one. Uh, wait, what, what the fuck? Huh, I thought I didn't know we were actually taking this for ourselves that the Soviet Union had this. Anyway, today's episode is a special one because we are at, right now, as I'm recording this, 99 subscribers. That means shortly, hopefully, we will reach 100 subscribers. And when that happens, you know, it's going to be pretty fucking awesome. In the time being, I'm going to be working on a project that as soon as we hit 100 subscribers, hopefully, you guys will be able to see it. <laughs> that is, if we hit 100 subscribers, okay? If we don't, all the work I've done so far is going to go to fucking waste. Anyway, hopefully, one person that decides to click that subscribe button, thank you so much, and hopefully, we'll be able to get there at some point. It'll be a huge milestone for the channel, and I cannot believe that we have made it to this point. Anyway, back to Hearts of Iron 4. Today we are going to defeat the UK maybe probably not but we are going to attempt to defeat the UK by building up our fleet now we have two battleships and some destroyers and we are making heavy cruisers and light cruisers but we can also make carriers but wait we don't want to make carriers yet because we want to wait for better carriers you know what I'm saying? So that we can have a higher capacity of planes. And uh, we have two battleships. I don't think we need any more battleships, honestly. So we're going to wait for these guys to come out. These 11 ships here. And... Oh, we actually do have more battleships in production. Do we need them? You know, we want a fleet that'll really, really fuck, fuck the British up, so yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's make them battleships. Low manpower, that's okay. Unread naval convoy raider battle results. So right here, they lost a submarine. Now they're down to six submarines. Holy shit. And I think I'm going to set these guys to convoy escorts instead. So if our convoys are getting attacked, they will help them out. Yep, there it is. Now they won't be fucking attacked anymore. We lost four planes, but they lost a submarine. They have 15 submarine ones. Actually, 12 submarine ones and three submarine twos. So, this looks seem like the British have like a very powerful navy. It seems like we just have a lot of troops. I mean, I mean a lot, a lot of ships. So we don't actually have to worry about the British invading us by sea. We have that shit covered. I think. <laughs> At least I hope. What is this? What are these cruisers and shit doing here? Wait a minute. God damn it! Now I want you to go to this port. You go to this port. There we go. Now let's see if we can't fucking transport these cruisers <laughs> to this port without them blowing up. Here we go. Dun da da da. Mission. Oh. Nope, oh, nope, they didn't succeed. Actually, we're against a destroyer, so we're good. We're gonna just we're gonna destroy them. <laughs> Wait, where the fuck are you going? No, go back, stupid. I want you to go to this port. <laughs> that is your mission. I want you to go there. Do nothing else until you get there, okay? You're going to be attacked. I understand that. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. There you go. Now you're good. Now you're in safe territory. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that's us. Never mind. The three submarines don't got shit on us. 
Can we fuck? Can we get there? There we go. God damn. That was so rough, man. <laughs> there we go. Now we have two battleships, two heavy cruisers, three light cruisers, and 27 destroyers. We're about to defeat the British Navy, I can just tell you that. You see this province here? I'm going to nuke it. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm going to get air superiority. Superiority over here. So, let's put some strategic bombers. We don't actually have any strategic bombers in reserve. Are we not making any? We are, but they're being used for reinforcement right now. So, do we have any strategic bombers available to us? Um, well, we have a lot of air coverage. Holy shit. Okay, there they are. Let's nuke these areas. Why? Because why not? <laughs> okay, they're gonna be there in a little bit. And uh we're gonna keep we're gonna continue building up our fleet. Escorting convoys because the British love putting love putting submarines in this area, so we're we have submarines of our own. Fifteen of them bitches. They're actually not the best submarines on the planet. We can actually make better submarines. Yeah, we can make better ones. Let's make better submarines. We'll make about 10 of them, and we'll add them to the current fleet of submarines. What's this? They lost a sub. We lost four jet fighters. Was this Kami Hawks? Are you not being resupplied? I thought you were. Yeah, you should be. One. Damn. It's because there's more battles happening. Yeah. Okay. We don't gotta worry about that. If the Kami Hawks run out, then fuck it. What's this? More convoys being attacked? Back off. Should we make a? Should we put a uh, commander on this? Oh, it already has one. We got another battleship. Pull up. <laughs> Bring them in. <laughs> Pick them up. There they are. This one. And strategic bombing. Air superiority, good. Now we're going to drop some nukes. Boom. Boom. Oh, man. <laughs> that's a lot of, that's a lot of death and destruction. Dear Lord. That's a lot of strategic bombers, too. God damn. <laughs> Holy shit, is there any, like, valuable resources there? Nope, we're just bombing them. Fuck it, why not? We got nothing better to do. They have fighters in the sky. Well, that's why we're losing so many planes, because they have fighters in the sky. <laughs> Let's see if we can't, uh, stop that from happening. There you go, air superiority. Release the hounds. Now we have a bunch of fighters in the sky that maybe we're fighting right now. Are we winning? Um I can't really tell at this point. We're going to have to wait it out. Let's see. 
How are we going down here? Well, the Americans are almost completely defeated. Or the Allies now looks like a really... It's a lot of... Mostly Americans over here. They're almost completely defeated. Um, this... These guys are being starved out. Maybe we can just take one of our divisions. Let's see. What's this? <laughs> They're held up in Hong Kong. Wow. Okay. Maybe we can just take an infantry division, break them off, stick them here, and see if we can't take advantage of that. Cause it doesn't look, like, doesn't look like the Soviets are uh, trying to attack them at all, and they have low organization and low supply. These guys can't leave, you know, because they don't have a port, which means they don't have any supplies on them. Any nation that we need to like defeat. Right off the bat over here. Nope, but the People's Republic of China is looking pretty goddamn good. Looking good, China. Who's your leader? Mao, Mao Zedong. Is that how you pronounce it? Or Zedong? Or is it Zay like, like... Like a T and an S? Zedong? Or is it like just Zedong? I'm not sure. I'm pretty goddamn tired. I've been working on something quite some time now. Um, let me give you a little sneak peek, though. I'm gonna announce something at 100 subscribers. Whoa! Got that right, people. <laughs> I'm gonna announce some pretty heavy shit. Mm-hmm. It's gonna blow your fucking mind. <laughs> You think I'm joking? Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna announce something new. On uh, when we hit a hundred subs, subscribers, and yeah, I think you guys are gonna like it. Hopefully, it's gonna. All I all I'm gonna say as a sneak peek right now, it's gonna change the formula up a little bit, right? That's all I'm gonna say. I can't tell I can't tell you anymore. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm fucking saying. That's all I'm fucking saying. <laughs> okay, let's get back to Hearts of Iron 4. So, our main priority at this point is to defeat the UK and defend against the United States. Because it's going to be quite difficult to attack and defeat the US, but hopefully... When we do finally, you know, land a successful naval invasion of the United States, we'll be able to defeat them. That is the plan. I'm not sure what the maximum, like, the best composition for a navy is, but I know having more destroyers and everything else, I think that's a smart move. But I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Let's nuke this port. Okay. I'm doing what I gotta do, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Damage level is five. So everything here is damaged. Oh shit, maybe we can do a naval invasion of these little islands here. I never even thought about that. Never even thought about, you know, attacking these people. Let's do it. Let's let's take these bunch of dudes right here, stick them in the one army. Yep. What are you, Europe? Okay. Put them here. We got some mountaineers as well, which is good. And a bunch of infantry. And how many is that? Ten? And I'm going to give you a commander. You're not being used anywhere? Well, <laughs> we'll use you. We're a hill fighter. I think this is hills. Nope, it's mountains. Okay. We should be able to do a successful naval invasion because I'm gonna I'm gonna take my navy, I'm gonna stick it here. Let's actually put a submarine here first and see how that works. See if we snag any ships in this region. Okay. Now naval invasion, invasion order. Uh, attack Sardinia first. 
because then we'll just be able to attack Corsica because there's a strait here. This means we don't have to do a naval invasion of both provinces. We can just do a naval invasion of one and attack the other normally. And because they don't have any other uh, naval base in this region other than the actual capital itself. If we get that, I'm pretty sure we defeat France fully. Nope, France is down here. But we defeat Italy, because that's the last of Italy. No, it's not. God damn it. Italy, will you just fucking go away already? <laughs> so, how we do? They lost the sub. They lost the sub. Okay. Uh, we apparently have naval superiority in this region somehow. Okay. <laughs> and uh, if we get if we maintain this little port here, we'll be able to fully resupply in this sea. Here, we'll actually be connected to this sea. And I don't know how beneficial that is, but I think we're probably going to do a naval invasion of the Balearic Islands also. Are these all independent provinces? What the hell? Damn. Okay. All right. So when you're ready, do that. How long is it going to take for you to do that? 35 days. That's not bad. I would have expected it to be longer than that. But it, in an effort to keep my naval superiority in that region, I'm going to stop, and we're just going to do search and destroy in the sea here. currently leaving. It was awfully dumb of the uh, British to attack a bunch of submarines with a carrier. They do have a lot of airplanes. Come on. You got it. Those, those planes don't mean nothing. We're fucking submarines. <laughs> there we go. No, 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 go back. No, no, fuck, what are you doing? Stop. Go to the fucking... Go to the province. <laughs> go here, you dumbass. There you go. Now you're out of the grip. Fuck's sake. There. Damn. So when's this going to be ready? Because before it's ready, I'm going to do I'm going to nuke that port. So when we do a naval invasion, we'll be able to get there because it's we're only going across a single a single piece, right? This is it. If we can maintain naval superiority in that region long enough, we'll be able to pull this off. And I think we I think we have the capacity to do so. How are these mountaineers? What do they consist of? We're making a lot of god damn, we're making a lot of paratroopers. Do we need to make that many paratroopers? Hold on. Um, let's make these guys better. And we'll give them a recon company as well. I think it gives them increased movement. And we'll also give them you know I don't want to... See, it's alright. We don't need to add support artillery to that. It's fine. What the fuck, man? <laughs> okay. Why you gotta reset my shit? No, I don't want to... God damn it. There. That's fine. And they should be resupplied almost immediately, I'm pretty sure. Do I not speak the truth? Shit. Well, I don't care. <laughs> I stopped caring a long time ago. I don't think we have to focus on our naval capacity anymore. Yep, wait, what? what we're making, holy, wait, what? Hold on, stop. What? I'm not sure what happened, but okay. Naval battle... They lost the sub. We lost four commie hawks. Am I just... 
Fucking driving my jets into the sea. Damn. There's another island here that we can attack. Wait, is this island not a part of the... Nope, yeah, it's a part of the... Part of the Trian... Tyrian Sea. So they should be attacking this island as well, Sardinia. Which I think is completely fucked up at this point. That's fucked. Oh wait, we don't have we don't have areas priority. Wait, we should. There's nobody against us. What the fuck? You know what? We're gonna put some planes in that region. What are these commie hawks? We don't need to put commie hawks in there. Oh, let's put some naval bombers. Yeah, sure. They should get there in a thousand days. Do we have naval superiority? Yes, we do. And how long is it until this invasion takes place? Uh, only f three more days. Our bombers are going out. Let's actually add a mission to these naval bombers to do naval strikes. And that's, that's fine. We don't, need, we don't need to do port strikes. I don't want the ports to be too fucked up, even though we fucked them up already. Oh, the invasion's going out. Shit, wait, stop. Fuck. <laughs> Drop a bomb. <laughs> we don't have superiority. We're going to have to try it. Oh, damn. Holy shit, we're winning. Somehow winning. Come on. Yes. Uh, where do you think you're going? <laughs> He's trying to escape. You guys can just branch out. You go here, there, you go there. Alright. Research slot available. We've done everything we really need to do. Let's get some. Let's get some marines. We're doing naval invasions and shit. We don't actually have marines that are supposed to be doing that, and we don't have anybody guarding Rome. Isn't there a place here that fucking does that? Yeah, the Italian, the Italian garrison, right? Where, where are you guys at? There we go. No. Go to Rome. Go to Rome. Go to Rome. Okay. Now let's go across the strait before they reorganize. So combat width is 80. Let's just do these guys as well. Do we have a lack of supply? Yes, we do, but not for long. This board is pretty fucked up. Oh, wait. They're organized. Hold on. Go there. Don't fucking go anywhere. What are you doing? You take this. Where the fuck? Where the fuck? Where the fuck are you going? Where are you going, man? <laughs> oh, shit. Look, the French figured it out. Um.
There we go. Dear Lord. How are the fr how's the French fleet so, you know, ridiculous? Get there quick. You gonna fucking get there? There you go. Shit. Are we holding our own? They lost a destroyer. Okay. Turn this bitch around. Fighters, go here. Do your whole kamikaze strike thing. We're not winning this battle. Um, do we have any close air support? Something that we can use? Go to this and do... Oh, fuck, your strategic bombers. Tacto bombers. Do close air support. And that should help us win this engagement. Hopefully we don't fucking look how the fuck where the fu where'd you go? You were winning for a second there. <laughs> you win, then you lose. Those are the rules. Okay. Take Cal Ca Cagli Cagliari. We're gonna take this province. And Okay, good. Now we got it. You guys occupy... What? I didn't want to do that. Occupy this and that. Hold that region. Where are you guys going? Stop fucking moving. Stop fucking... God damn it. What's this? Affected by attrition. Okay. How many can this fucking hold? Are they losing anything at all? Wait, let me see this. They're, they're losing stuff, kind of. They're kind of losing stuff. Yeah, they don't, they don't have a really big fleet anymore. Let's hope they're losing shit. Oh, they lost two destroyers. So yeah, we're actually doing a pretty good job of defeating these guys. These submarines are fucking them up. Okay, we're actually making some pretty good progress. Is it time to get some better jet fighters now? Nope, I guess not. I don't want that. What was I working on again? Oh, let's get better mountain infantry. How's it in favor of them? That's weird. Oh, damn, they lost a heavy cruiser, though. That's good. It means they only have four destroyers left. Nope, they have two destroyers, a light cruiser, and two light cruisers. So do we have naval superiority? Yes, we do. Ha! Take that, Spain. I mean, fuck, fuck sorry, France. <laughs> Spain, I don't want your stupid shit, man. Wait, what? This is auto We can automatically research the second one? We don't even have to research the first one? Oh, okay, I see how it is. You can, you can research 
this one first, so long as you're here with the battleships, but you can research this and then skip the battleships and then just go right to this as soon as it's time to actually research them in the year, if any of that made sense. Okay, cool. Uh, better carriers? Uh, yeah, fuck it, why not? Unread naval battle results? Victory, victory, good. Unread naval convoy raider battle results? Victory, awesome. And we are still at war with everybody. But we are making remarkable progress. What is this? What, what, the, fuck, what the fuck do you call this? Uprising? Invasion? What, what, what? This is gonna stop. There's an end to this, right? Good. Uh, Spain, you got some submarines. Maybe you can fucking do something. <laughs> Instead of sit there with them. And you got some, you got some ships here as well. God damn, what, what, are you, what are you doing, Spain? You have a fleet. Use it. Well, you don't actually have a whole lot, so I'm not gonna pressure you on that. I just like to say one thing though. This uh, better pol political map colors mod thing I have. Um. It makes, the, it makes the game look pretty goddamn good. I like how the colors are more solid now. I think it makes it look better. If it doesn't, I don't know. You can say what you think down in the comments, but... But, uh... I'll read it, I guess. I don't, I'm not sure what to say. It'll, that's gonna be safe for YouTube. And to make sure my video's not demonetized, you know? I can't insult anybody or hurt someone's fee-fees because if I do, oh man, that's a disaster. <laughs> that's a hassle and a half right there. Now we're just full-on production of the other things. More submarines, I guess. Let's actually pull these fleets back to this port. Stop, go here. Go go to this go to this fucking port. What are you doing? There you go. You stop. Go to this port. And you stop. Go to this port. Everybody going there? Okay. Once we all make it there, just kinda morph into one fleet and then Go back in to do not combo rating, uh, search and destroy. Actually, should we do patrol? Or search and destroy. You know what? Let's let's do let's do patrol. Is that is that a smart move for submarines? I don't know. Let's try it. Let's see how that's gonna work out for us. Maybe it'll be the, the disaster. Maybe it'll be the best thing that's ever happened to us ever. Holy fuck! Wait, we're fucking. <laughs> We're taking it back. Wow, I didn't expect that to happen. Good, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We took the two little islands of Corsica and Sardinia. Now all we have to do left is get some signal companies, because I, I heard they're pretty good. <laughs> uh, and also some free military factories, because we took something that we can use for whatever. Uh, I guess mechanized, we can do that. Upgrade the mechanized infantry. Advanced anti-tank, sure. Do we need this many infantry equipment at this point? I mean, we, we have, like, more than enough to stock us for, like, a fucking thousand years. Like, we're, we're golden on units, okay? Eh, fuck it, you know? That's fine. Let's just keep making infantry equipment. It's not hurting us anyway. What's this? We're not making any light tanks right now? Do we have any light tanks? Light tank divisions in our military to begin with? Probably not. I'll wait for these last paratroopers to come out, then I'll stop making them. I may try to use them again over Britain. 
Let's check and see what's going on down here. The U.S. is nearly starved out. Let's pin the nail in the coffin here. That's a lot of fucking... Holy shit, that's a lot of troops. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Looks like this British these British troops here have a have some radio some divisions with fucking like radio I don't know what to call it. Fucking radios, you know? <laughs> radios and field hospitals and all that shit. And we just increased our that's it for field hospitals. Um, logistics company, what do you do? Having specialized logistics officers among our ranks will ensure that support networks are leveraged to minimize waste. So it reduces supply usage. It increases organization. Eh, fuck it, we'll, we'll get it. It won't hurt nothing. Can't tell if we're winning this. We are barely winning this. They just have too little organization to be able to stop this even small attack. You know, it's not like it's not like these guys are the most powerful infantry division on the planet. That's because they don't have any supply in this region, so this attack will be successful. And we finally took Indochina after a long-ass fight. How many episodes did it take to actually take Indochina? Was it like four? No, we, we were taking that shit for quite some time now, so I'm not, in, I'm not sure. But anyway, let's go to the Prince's Guard and edit them and add more divisions. Um, support anti-tank, yep, and support artillery. Good. Save. Go to infantry division. Give them field hospitals. And then after that we'll give them a logistics company. Yeah, so save that for now. Okay. Okay, we're not going to rush these guys out. Even though they're at 95%, I still want them to be level 2. Modern tanks are taking a little bit to do because we, are, we actually have to make modern tanks, which I'm not sure why we're not fully producing them right now. We have heavy tanks going out. We don't need to make that many. Where are the modern tanks? Yeah, there you go. We can actually reduce that even more. There we go. Now we're making modern tanks. That's all we need is modern tanks. I forget where they're being deployed at, so they're going to be lost. Probably up here somewhere if I had to guess. I'm not even defending this place. Yeah, there it is. They have all disappeared. You can reunite with your little army over here. And that's it. That marks the end for Indochina. Good for us, bad for them. Considering we have that now, let's fucking occupy this region so we don't lose it. Because I have no doubt we're probably going to if we don't occupy it. Because they have the ability to launch a naval invasion from these little islands over here. And the UK still holds some pretty valuable resources. 
so does the Netherlands. And so until we can tap into these resources, we're not going to be doing pretty well. And how much resources does the U.S. actually have? Let's see. Well, they have a lot of oil. They're not, <laughs> they have no lack of that whatsoever. Um, anything they have a real lack of is rubber, actually. They have ten rubber. And I'm pretty sure that's it. That's all they have. Yeah, so we can severely cripple the United States if we can t get rid of their rubber. And the rubber that they're trading with their allies, which is the Netherlands and the UK. We can cripple their air... their entire fucking air force, really, if we can get rid of their rubber. Because they won't be able to produce as much as we are. Because we have a fuckload of rubber. Yeah, we have a lot. <laughs> and fucking Thai People's Republic now has a pretty giant portion of it. That's a lot. Took that from the UK. We hurt their Nate fucking Air Force as well. China, come on, dude. It's not that hard, man. You, <laughs> It isn't that hard. It really isn't. To defend your borders and your coasts and shit. Look what I'm doing, right? Let's just take, just take a fucking look. You need to do that more often. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be all for this episode. What's this? These are U.S. submarines. We can actually take a look at what kind of submarines America has. Uh, a bunch and a single light cruiser from the British. So the America has a lot of submarines and it looks like there's a ship coming in. I can't really tell what kind of ship that is. I don't know, but we're going to have to work on getting rid of submarines, apparently. But anyway, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, so much for watching. Hope you had a fantastic time watching this. Definitely had a fantastic time playing it. We took these islands over here, and now we are going to keep them, hopefully. And, yeah, that's pretty much the extent of what we actually took, our territorial expansion as the socialist states of Austria-Hungary for this episode. I'm not sure if we made any real gains down here in Africa. We may have. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, oh, no, we also defeated the allies in Indochina. A uh, good victory. An important victory for all of the communist revolutionaries. Anyway, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, so much for watching. I hope you have a great and beautiful day. Peace.